Welcome back to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in digital infrastructure. And we are here for day two of Data Cloud Global Congress in beautiful Cannes, France. And joining me today is Nabil Mahmoud. He is the co-founder and board director of Nomad Futurist Foundation. Nabil, welcome back. Well, thank you. Lovely to be out here. And uh, it was great to cross paths in Philadelphia on the way out here. Yes, uh, we were travel buddies yeah, uh, from Philadelphia here to beautiful Cannes here on the French Riviera. No better place to have uh, an event, especially a worldwide leading event like Data Cloud Global Congress. So we're here today, day two. Let's talk a little bit more about Nomad Futurist. Obviously, it's gained a strong global presence in advancing education and career de development for the next generation in digital infrastructure. What impact are you seeing globally? Uh, quite a bit. So, I mean, uh, on a positive note, we were here last year. We were trying to expand our reach globally. So now we are all in, in six of the seven continents. That's a massive, massive win. I think uh, it's also become clear to the sector that we've got a significant human capital deficit that needs to be addressed. Um, roughly about 300,000 jobs need to be fulfilled in the data infrastructure layer by the end of next year. Uh, and about 1.6 million by the, the year end 2030. So massive undertaking. The silver tsunami is there. People are exiting. Uh, not because they want to, but uh, they're coming off age, right? So uh, we're seeing significant growth. Uh, we had made an announcement and a promise last year over here, as a matter of fact, sitting over here with you, yes. that we were going to be launching the, 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 the academy, which is real now. We made that announcement early January. The academy is public and free to access as of February. We've got five modules up and running. We will be releasing another five over the next 30 to 45 days. And we've got about 200 hours worth of course content in there. Besides that, we've also uh, launched a career board and currently are working career pathways, whereby we're looking at other partnerships such as iMasons, OCP, and other organizations globally to incorporate uh, and, and develop pathways of what the future of the sector is going to look like. I mean, it's so important because the future is just continuing to grow and grow every day and there is that talent shortage so you're filling that gap and JSA is proud to be also a partner with Nomad Futurist me personally an ambassador so absolutely so honored to be here sitting here talking in just one year such amazing growth for Nomad Futurist and you're also part of talent in tech correct uh, data clouds initiative here so are we uh, such a great initiative discussing how sustainable choices support responsible growth. How does Nomad Futures connect social and climate responsibility with talent development? So um, I'm a big believer of muscle memory, right? And what I mean by that is you start early, you start by educating, providing exposure and experiences, right? And that results in building that muscle memory. So the, the core really at the end of it the way I look at it is education, early on education for the right reasons, not just to do it, to do it. Uh, and then give people an opportunity to understand why it is important to create a sustainable, scalable environment whereby we can pass it on to the next generation. Um, how are we doing that? So, you know, we've, we've taken the approach of being that connected tissue uh, and working with organizations like JSA or Techonara and Data Cloud Congress and others on a global basis carrying that narrative uh, across every single domain that's possible and educating everybody and trying to unify that voice. So it's it's one voice, one cause, so let's do it for the right reasons. Absolutely, and you're holding that microphone there with Greener Data, Green, Greener our Data. initiative Absolutely. Uh, at JSA. So it's so important to continue responsible, sustainable growth in our industry for sure. And AI, of course, we have to mention AI. Yep. Uh, we're still hearing it at each and every conference over and over again. The AI growth is really impacting our industry. And of course, the next generation as well. From your perspective, how should the next generation prepare to thrive in an AI augmented infrastructure environment? It really comes down to education. Uh, so, I mean, we have gone through the cycle of uh, converting from analog to digital. Um, I mean, I, I clearly remember uh, when I got my first computer and I had the dial-up yeah. modem. Uh, yeah. it, you know, it, it, it was like a time lapse. Like, I mean, the world changed uh, in front of us. Yes. Uh, so, with 
children and the younger generation actually being digital natives, it's muscle memory to them. They, they were born with it. I mean, they, they can zip through applications like it's no one's business. I mean, it's, yeah. it's just at their fingertips. Uh, so uh, to, to answer your question, it really comes down to educating. Uh, a lot of them play with all those apps. Uh, they can develop technologies. They can develop platforms. But what's lacking is why are we doing what we're doing? And that comes down to the roots uh, and understanding and educating the, the basis of it. Uh, you know, AI is not our enemy. I just want to you know, clarify that. Uh, I think there's a lot of hype that AI is going to take over the world. Well, there's no substitute for human intelligence. Absolutely. AI yeah. is going to stay and we're only going to be successful if we stay up with times and we can only stay up with times if we continually educate ourselves. Education is key uh, to the future and how we leverage AI. Absolutely. Uh, for sure. And all the work that you're doing with Nomad Futurist is about the education. Exactly. Yeah. It's just making sure we do it for the right reasons. Right. Uh, I, I was actually in a panel yesterday. We talked about sustainability. Uh, and a part of the problem that we have is that it's become a, a checkbox uh, and, and, and not to play it down. But the fact of the matter is that we have not designed platforms and technologies previously considering carbon to be um, of any substance. Right. I mean, it's like, yeah, we'll just build it and we'll figure out later that attitude that mind should, needs to change. We need to account for. Uh, EPDs, we need to account for scopes one, two, three, uh, and, and, and calculate carbon and any element that there is from ground zero of inception to deployment. Uh, and, and that goes back to muscle memory, right? I mean, and, and, and we've got four and a half, five decades of data that, that can be leveraged in understanding what the potential cause is and how do we fix it. Definitely, yes. Is there anything else that you want to add today? Well, I, um, I would ask everyone here to join the initiative uh, in whatever capacity. All what I ask for is 1%. And that 1% is anything. It doesn't have to be money, right? It can be your experience. You can be that mentor. Uh, it can be the tribal knowledge that you've accumulated over your career that share that. Uh, your intellectual property uh, should be shared with the next generation or people that are in transition as we continually expand and grow this sector. So contribute, don't wait. Uh, tomorrow probably will never come. Uh, this is your chance. The 1% would result into 100% and not just talking about change, but making the change. Yeah. Well, Nabil, always a pleasure to speak to you. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. And if viewers want to learn more about the Nomad Futurist Foundation and how they can give back that 1% or more, tell them where to go. Nomadfuturist.org. And all the social handles are Nomad Futurist. Nabil, again, thank you so much for joining us. And viewers, thank you again for joining us for another episode of JSA TV from beautiful Cannes, France at Data Cloud Global Congress. Happy networking.